the evidences for the Bible being a reliable document? <laughs> what are the proofs for believing the Bible? Yes. Now, Andrew, I want to ferret out an assumption that is underneath the question, okay? My argument for the facts of the empty tomb, the post-mortem appearances, the origin of the disciples' faith, doesn't presuppose the reliability of the Bible. Uh, it is not as though you first prove the general reliability of the Bible and then you deduce these facts. Rather, what historians do is they look at these documents just as you would look at the writings of any other ancient author like Thucydides or Herodotus or Suetonius, and then you apply to them certain tests to try to find the historical nuggets in them. Um, and some of these tests would include, just to list a few, uh, multiple early independent sources. If you have a story or event that is related by independent sources very early, then it's very unlikely that that event was just made up independently of them rather than going back to a historical event. And events like the empty tomb are attested by five or six early independent sources, for example. Another criterion would be dissimilarity. If you can show that an event or saying in the life of Jesus is unlike the Judaism that came before him, but also unlike the Christian movement that followed him, then it's unlikely that that element was the product of earlier Judaism or written back into the record by the Christian church. Rather, dissimilarity would show that that belongs to the historical Jesus himself. Another criterion would be embarrassment. If there are sayings or events that are potentially embarrassing or awkward for the early Christian church, then again, uh, that makes it probable that it was not invented by the church. An example of this criterion at work would be the fact that it's women who discover the tomb empty. In first century patriarchal Jewish society, the testimony of women was regarded as worthless. And so it's actually a real embarrassment for the gospel writers to have to relate the fact that it was women who are the principal witnesses to the fact of Jesus' empty tomb. It would have been much easier for a legend to have Peter or John be the discoverers of the empty tomb. The fact that it's women who are the discoverers of the empty tomb is best explained by saying that they were the discoverers of it, and uh, like it or not, the gospel writers faithfully record this. So what I want to say is that when you apply these tests, and there are many more, to the gospels, these facts about the historical Jesus emerge as a result of the application of these historical tests. And among the facts established about the historical Jesus in the minds of most scholars would be the four that I mentioned as well as many, many others about his life.